Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on derivation of subject level population flags which are commonly used in ADSL. In the previous video, we have seen how to derive screen failure flag based on the information present in disposition dataset. In this video, we will see how to derive RANDFL which is randomization, randomized population flag. So let us take a look at the derivation algorithm provided to us. It says create this flag using the data collected in DS data set which is SDTM DS data set and it says if a subject has a record in DS data set with the condition DS cat is equal to protocol milestone and DS decode is equal to randomized then the subject would be called as randomized else the subject would be called non-randomized so presence of a record indicates randomized and absence of it indicates the subject is not randomized and it goes on and says populate this flag as y for randomized subjects and for all the other non-randomized subjects this will be populated as n so which means for the subject who has a record in sdtm ds with the condition provided here will have a value of y and for all the other subjects we need to populate it as n again okay, as usual let us go ahead and then see how to manually identify randomized population flag so the base data set for adsl data set creation is sdtm demographics data set and in this example we have five subjects data starting from 1001 to 1005 and as per the specification the base data set for the creation of sdtm uh, randomization flag is sdtm disposition data set let's go ahead and take a look at the disposition data set and in this we were asked to check for the presence of a record which has a ds cat value of protocol milestone so i am filtering for protocol milestone and then within protocol milestone we were asked to check for the presence of a dsd code value of randomized let us try to do that now so now what happened is we have four records for subjects 1001 to 1002, 1003, 1004 and 1005. So we have four records in disposition data with the specified condition and they correspond to the four subjects. Which means out of the five subjects we do not have data for randomization for subject 1001. So all the subjects who has data are called randomized and for this subjects we were asked to populate the randomization flag as Y. And for the other subjects, we were asked to populate it as no. So we will have Y for 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005 and N for 1001. Let us try to fill in the data in our form. So first subject was not randomized because the subject did not have a record in SDTM DS with the filter condition provided. And for all the other subjects, we had data. So we are populating it as why so we have now manually identified the what should be the value for each of the subjects in randomized flag so let us try to programmatically implement this logic again earlier like earlier in screen failure population flag so we need to identify the subjects who are meeting or who are not meeting the records so here if you see we are making use of proc sort along with a where statement in that proc sort step to filter the condition records which meet the condition. So we were asked to check for the presence of a record with DS cat is equal to protocol milestone and DS decode is equal to randomized. So we are filtering and we are keeping only U sub JD in the output data set which is called as RANDFL. So what will happen in this data set or in this step is so we will get all the records of the subjects who are randomized. And then we are making use of this data set RANDFL in a merge to SDTM DM data set okay, based on the values present in sub -CD. And all the subjects who are coming from RANDFL are being identified with the value of B. So if a subject is coming from RANDFL data set when merging based on the values on U sub JD, for all the that subjects we are populating RANDFL as Y and otherwise we are populating it as N. So let us execute this piece of code and then see the values in RANDFL in ADSL dataset and also cross check if those values match with the ones we have manually identified. 
let's let us open ADSL and then see so based on our manual identification we found that only subject 1001 was having a value of n in randfl and all the other subjects had a value of y so this is what we had first subject had n and all the other subjects have a value of y so we are getting the exact same result when we are programmatically creating that so this is how we can create randfl in adsl programming whenever it is required